Hi everybody, in this video let's cover the distribution of income and the distribution of wealth. For you guys it's really important to know what the difference is between income and wealth. Income is a flow concept measured over a given period of time. So for example at the end of the year how much income was earned. That's what income is and that's how we measure it over a given period of time. Wealth however is a stock concept measured at a given point in time. So at this point in time how wealthy are you? What is the value of your assets? Assets constitute wealth. And assets are anything with a market value, but they can also generate income. Right? These things can be bought and sold, but they do generate income. Let's look at examples. Things like pensions, things like stocks, shares, houses, derivatives, government bonds, gold. These are all things you can buy, but which generate income. Okay? And when you buy them, you are adding to your wealth. So at a given point in time, you can definitively say how wealthy you are. All right, so different concepts, stock concept, flow concept, measured at a given point in time, measured, measured over a given period of time. The two, though, are mutually reinforcing. Right? They both link to each other. With high incomes, any surplus income that you have can be used to purchase assets. Assets, as we know, generate more incomes, and any surplus income can then again be used to purchase assets. So the two link together. If you're wealthy, chances are you're going to have a relatively high income. If you have a high income, chances are you're going to be relatively wealthy. The two go hand in hand, they're mutually reinforcing. It's important to know that. It's important also, guys, in this topic area, to understand crucial differences. A difference between equity and equality in the distribution of income and the distribution of wealth. And the different types of equity, horizontal against vertical equity. I'm not going to cover those concepts here because I've already covered them in my poverty video in a lot of detail. So the link is right above me. Click on this if you want to understand in more detail the difference between equality and equity and different types of equity. Very important to know that. Examiners will expect it. It's a very core part of this topic area. So do watch that video. Let's now understand different reasons for the differentials or differences between income and wealth. One simple reason behind differentials in income and wealth and behind the unequal distributions of income and wealth that we see in societies is simply age. The older somebody is, the greater their earning potential is. Why? Because they've got more skills, because they're more productive, because their experience is greater and therefore they can demand higher wages, which means that their wealth accumulation can be greater as well. A difference between education can be a key driver of changes in the uh, distribution of income, differences in the distribution of income. The more qualifications somebody has, whether it's GCSEs, whether it's A-levels, whether it's degrees at university level, the greater the earning potential of that individual is likely to be compared to those who don't. And that is proven by stats. Those that go to university, proven, are going to earn more than those who don't, on average. So that can be a big driver behind differences in the distribution of income. The next two we can look at together Ownership of assets, of course, is going to lead to unequal distributions of wealth. Those who are able to purchase, for example, financial assets, things like pensions, things like uh, shares, things like derivatives, things like government bonds, all these financial assets, those who own them are obviously going to be more better off than those who don't. It's going to lead to an unequal distribution of wealth in that sense. The employer has a role to play in this as well. The stronger the employer, the more likely that employer is going to give uh, individual workers access to really good pension schemes and therefore make this distribution of wealth worse. But at the same time, those who own property, whether it's property for themselves to live in or property simply to generate income, simply as an investment, those who own property, again, are going to be extremely wealthy over time as these prices go up and up and up. And that is just going to lead to a big divide in the distribution of wealth compared to those who can't afford uh, property. And what can make the distribution of wealth worse over time with these two things is that often these are inherited. As people pass away, as elder generations pass away, they often uh, provide these financial assets or these properties for their own children. And so the children actually inherit this massive wealth, which means over time the distribution of wealth gets worse and worse and worse. And with it, because these assets generate income, so does the distribution of income get worse too. And finally, we can look at wage differentials. We know that labour markets in societies are not perfect. There are differences uh, between wages in 
different professions. And the greater the wage differentials, the greater the inequality in the distribution of income is going to be. And that's why the state often gets involved and provides benefits or provides minimum wages to help close this gap. But this, again, is a big driver of unequal distributions of income. So a lot of these points, again, mutually uh, reinforcing, right? So a lot of these points, you can argue, are both drivers of uh, unequal distributions of income and wealth, but some will start by making the distribution of income worse and then the distribution of wealth, whereas some will start by making the distribution of wealth more unequal and then the distribution of income. So make sure you know which one targets the distribution of income first or the distribution of wealth first. That covers this key topic area. Stay tuned and keep watching the remainder of the videos where we look at some of these topic areas in more detail, especially looking at policies to help redistribute income and wealth. I will see you all in those next videos. Thank you so much for watching.